Welcome back to Faith Builders. I'm so excited about this series that me and Pastor Lorenzo have been teaching. And you know what, guys? Uh, just be praying for us because we got other leaders that we want to be able to get involved to teach these faith builders because God is doing some amazing things in our youth ministry and our leadership that I believe that he's raising up uh, new leaders that uh, he's going to he's going to begin to use. You know, God gave me a word at this at the beginning of 2021 uh, 20, uh, that this was the year of glory. And one of the things that he told me was that you are going to begin to hear about people that you've never heard of because they have loved my glory. And get ready because people that you've never heard of, you're going to begin to begin to hear about them because these are people who have been hidden, but they've been spending time with God and God has been imparting into them. They have been believing God for a new level and they're, that they're going to begin to teach the body of Christ. So I want to continue today on uh, favor. And today I want to teach you on God will not fail you. God will not fail you. You know, I was just talking to some of the leaders and telling them, you know, it's amazing to me that we all hear God will not fail you. And we can say amen. But the truth is, we have a hard time believing that. Why? We, we can believe that God will do it, listen to this, when everything is going good. But can you believe him when everything is going the opposite way? I mean, God wants us to know that he will not fail you regardless of what it looks like. Regardless of what it looks like. Why? Because let me tell you something. Every time God performed a supernatural miracle in the Bible, it was always look, it always looked impossible. And I want you to to learn to declare that God will not fail me. Say it with me. God will not fail me. Now listen to this. Total depend. But in order for that to happen. We have to depend totally on God. Listen to this. Whatever God has promised to Abraham. He's also promised to you and I. Listen to that. Whatever God promised Abraham. He also promised to you and I. Abraham depended on what God told him. Listen to that. God or Abraham depended on what God had told him. Look what it says in Genesis chapter 12 verse 1. The Lord God said to Abram, leave your native country, your, your relatives and your father's family and go to the land that I will show you. Think about that. Abraham left the place that he was at to be able to go to the place that God wanted him to go to. How many of us would do that? How many of us have done that? How many of us have even left a job, have left those friends, have left the things that he's told you to leave to go to the place that he's going to show you? That is huge because I don't know about you, but sometimes it's a whole lot better to know where you're going or for him to tell you where you're going instead of just going. And him saying, as you go, I'm going to show you. See, that takes total dependence. That's you believing that God's favor is on your life. And that regardless of where you go, watch this, the blessing of God is on your life. The favor of God is on your life. And wherever you go, you know that you're going to prosper. See, Jesus' disciples, listen to this. Jesus' disciples knew this. They knew uh, on how that, that when they went, then they would lack nothing. See, Jesus told them one day, go, and when you go, take nothing. See, as they went, when they came back, Jesus said, did you like anything? Come on, talk to me, because this is some powerful stuff. As you go, and you're believing him, and as you're going, you're seeing God do things. Let me tell you something. He's also going to be able to ask you, have you liked anything? You know, we just came out of the pandemic, which the world is saying 2020 was the worst year. Let me tell you something, guys. Not for God's people. For God's people, let me tell you something. If you total, if you believe God totally, let me tell you something. You lack nothing. You lack nothing. You can say that and you can testify that. You can testify and say, you know what? I lack nothing. Why? Because God, my total dependence was on God. And he told me that he would never leave me nor forsake me. Look what Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7 says. But blessed are those who trust in the Lord. Listen to that. And have made the Lord their hope and confidence. Come on. Blessed. 
empowered are, uh, are those who trust in the Lord and who have made the Lord their hope and confidence. Number two, trust in God and doors will be opened. Listen to that. Trust in God and doors will be opened. You can't earn the things of God. You have to receive them. You can't earn the things of God. You have to receive them by what? By grace. Look what Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 says. For by grace you have been saved. Watch this. Through faith and not and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God. Come on. He gave you a gift. Not that you earned it. Not that I earned it. But it's a gift. Come on, the grace of God, the favor of God. What is it? It's a, it, it, it is a gift from God. But listen to me. It's not because you earned it. You have to learn to receive it. You are not. I'm going to share something so powerful right here. I want you to get a hold of this. You are not blessed because you are rich. You are rich because you are blessed. Did you hear that? You are not blessed because you're rich. Most people think, oh, look, I got money. I'm blessed. No, because you're blessed. What's this? But you are rich because you're blessed. Did you hear that? If you are a believer, your job assignment is to exercise your faith. Favor is granted to people who are on assignment so that they can be sure of their success. Oh, let me read that again. Favor is granted to people who are on assignment. See, many times we're like, man, why is God showing so much favor? You know why? Because they're on their assignment. When you and I tap into the assignment that God has put on our life, let me say something. Get ready for favor. Get ready for favor to show up everywhere you go. And success will show up. Now watch this. Write this down. Consider a new concept. The human process is to get things from the outside to make changes on the inside. Let me say that again. The human process is to get things from the outside to make changes on the on, on the inside of man. I was sharing with them last night with a couple of teenagers and one of the leaders about Adam. It's amazing to me how Adam operated. He didn't operate from the outside in. He operated from the inside out. Can you have you ever thought about how he was able to name all the animals? He was able to name a cow, a cow. He was able to name a dog, a dog. He was able to name a roach, a roach. Come on. Where did he get that from? He never went to he never went to college. He got it because he was it was this he was connected to God. He was connected to God and he was able to what's this create and declare some things. And that's why he operated from the inside out, not allowing the outside to come in. When you and I get born again, we are 100% God. We operate by God's spirit. And so now we can operate from the inside out instead of allowing the outside to come in. Listen, on the other hand, the kingdom of God is on the inside of man and brings about change on the outside. Did you hear that? Listen to this. On the other hand, the kingdom of God is on the inside of man. Say, the kingdom of God is on the inside of me. What does that mean? Because it's inside of me. Now I can change everything around me. Listen to me. The powerful force of God's kingdom causes what you need to move from the spirit realm. Watch this. To the natural realm. In other words... When you and I operate in the spirit, everything that's in the spirit realm, you and I can create it. In other words, when you can already start seeing your college to be paid for and you see it on the inside, come on, young person, and you declare it, watch this, what, you, you can cause it to manifest in the natural, watch this, from the spirit realm. Anything you see in the spirit, if you can declare it, you'll start seeing it in the natural if you operate from the inside out. And that's what God wants for you and I to operate in this favor. Watch this so that we can start declaring things and start causing them to operate and to be able to manifest in the natural.
And I want you to get that. I want you to hear me that you and I have to understand and consider this new concept, this new way of doing things, this new way, this new system that God established so that you and I could be successful in this life and it's called favor. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to be able to walk in your favor. It's a new way. It's a new concept. It's a new mindset. And I pray that every one of us, my God, are getting a hold of this and that we're renewing our mind to the favor of God so that we can operate from the inside out and not from the outside in. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.